What's up everyone, Vu of Envu Films back with another video and it is currently 12.52 a.m. and I meant to film this video a lot earlier yesterday but life happens and here I am filming this video now eight hours before the embargo is lifted in this Juin Weebill 3S gimbal and uh yeah i'm here in the wee hours of the morning whispering into this mic all up in my mouth trying to hit these tube doucher embargo deadlines of course i'm gonna have to edit this right after so uh yeah i better hurry up and just get this over with so here i have juin's new gimbal the Juin Weebill 3099S. I'm just kidding, it's a Weebill 3S because Juin makes more new gimbals than Sony does making useless vlog cameras. That's, that's saying a lot. With that said, I'm not gonna clown on Juin. They have been the most innovative and creative gimbal manufacturer in the market in my opinion they were the first to come out with the underslung handle with the original juin weeble lab and then they were the first to come up with the axis locks and they're also the first to now come up with this wrist rest for easier underslung usage which they have modified from the original June Weeble 3. Now you could actually take it off if you want to versus I believe the Weeble 3, it was stuck on there. The only problem is sometimes June has an issue with fine tuning the things they create, which is why there's a Weeble 3S with now something that they have created detachable versus being permanently attached. And things such as their axis locks, which is still manually locked and unlocked, unlike the DJI RS3 gimbal, which I have been using for the past year, I guess, definitely over six months, that has now the auto, now have the auto locks, which as soon as you turn the power on, the gimbal unlocks itself. And when you turn it off, the gimbal locks itself with the camera attached and all that stuff, which is very convenient. Immediately, that was probably the feature I missed the most as I've been using this Weeble 3S the past couple of shoots. One was a shoot where I was helping Say Park, a fellow YouTuber, and uh, he was filming his YouTube video for the Weeble 3S. And I was helping him film that and I was using the Weeble 3S and as a gimbal, it worked perfectly fine. I also filmed a wedding and as a gimbal, the Juin Weeble 3S worked perfectly fine. I don't have too much issues with the size and weight of the gimbal. It is slightly more heavy than the RS3, but but it's solid. It is no longer those old, cheaper, you know, Weeble S builds back in the day where the locks would break. I had some issues with that. These locks now are super durable, super strong, well-made. The quality is there. There's just these little, there's just these minor details that I think Juin needs to address and They'll probably address it in the June Weeble 4 next month. I'm just kidding. I have no idea when the June Weeble 4 is. That was a complete joke, but I would not be surprised if they're going to be releasing Weeble 4 next month. I think in order to cut costs, June decided to limit some of the features, such as not having a touchscreen for the controls. But in my opinion, as a standard gimbal user, as a filmmaker, behind the gimbal, filming other people, other subjects, running gun style. I actually appreciate 
the non touchscreen. I find it a lot easier to navigate. I find it a lot quicker to get to where I need to go. Juin, in my opinion, just has overall a better layout in terms of how to find and change settings on your gimbal. Although the DJI RS3 has a touchscreen, I feel it to be a little bit cumbersome, a little bit slow, and if your hands are wet or something, and I've shot in the rain many times, sometimes it's hard to swipe through the menus. It is just very quick on the June Webill 3S to hit the mode button, to hit the menu button, and go through all your settings. Now, there are some gimmicky things on this gimbal that I think that are not my thing. One, it's the light. I think June should just not waste her time, cut the cost on that. I never like direct lighting while I'm filming, never have and never will. They need to just get rid of that. I know they are more focused on, I know June is focused on making lights now, but to me, there's other ways to light the subject. We don't need this. It's just me. It's my opinion. The second thing is the quick vertical mode switching. I'm not going to do it right now. I'm sure there's other videos that I will show you how that's done, but you could easily take this off and flip it around to shoot your camera in vertical mode. I scroll through IG reels all day long. I don't really see too many videos shot on gimbal. And a lot of those vertical videos are actually shot horizontally and edited vertically. And I understand some people want the full 4K resolution of the sensor doing vertical mode. But at the end of the day, Instagram and TikTok doesn't even support anything more than 1080p, so that doesn't matter. Also, when you're shooting just vertically, you miss out on the opportunity to be able to edit it in landscape or standard 16 by 9. Whereas when you shoot 16 by 9, you could have a 16 by 9 video and you could edit it into vertical mode. So there's more versatility in a 16 by 9 shot than a vertically shot video. Again, this is my opinion. So if I'm looking at these two gimbals, the DJI RS3 and the Juin Webill 3S, I think they directly compete against each other. Um, I don't think the Juin Webill 3S competes against the DJI RS3 Pro. I think all the you know filmmakers and all that crazy gimbal work is probably going to lean towards the DJI RS3 Pro for its quote unquote professional features. Juin Webill 3S is actually cheaper than the DJI RS3 Mini. If you buy the base model, Juin Webill 3S, you actually just get, if you buy the base Juin Webill 3S, all you get is this. You get the gimbal and the tripod. You get the gimbal and the tripod. Pretty much similar as you would get with the DJI RS3. Now, to be quite honest, feeling both these gimbals now, the Weibo 3S, without this whole attachment, actually feels about the same weight as the DJI RS3, and overall it has a smaller form factor. So for 319 bucks, this is what you get. For $439, pretty much you get this. So this little piece right here, cost another 110 bucks. Yes, there is a bag that comes with this. I'm not going to mention it because it is hilariously unusable for the gimbal. And I'm just being blunt. I would never use that bag for this gimbal. But yes, there is this bag that is shaped like a punching bag that comes with the gimbal to each their own. So for 439 bucks, still cheaper than the DJI RS3, but more expensive than the RS3 Mini, is this little attachment, which conveniently attaches.
which comes with this quick release plate that's under here. And you can conveniently take this on and off like so. You wanna take it back off, just unlock it and slip it right off. This is great. This is fantastic. But here is where Juin makes a misstep that they have a tendency to do. They should have had another quick release here for the tripod. Because as quick as I did all that, now I have to put this little tripod back in and screw it on. Okay? I last in bed faster than that. So... Misstep number one, they should have had a quick release where the tripod meets this little wrist rest module, which again is fantastic. The second misstep here is that the battery is not removable. So with this, so with the Weibo 3S, although it is smaller than the GI, Although it is smaller than the DJI RS3, this is as small as you can get the gimbal down to. You cannot detach anything more. You can't take anything off more than this. Whereas the DJI RS3, sorry Juin for making this somewhat of a DJI commercial, but uh, you can, take the battery off and now you have this more modular setup for easier packing when traveling. So the other thing that comes with this other than the little wrist rest is a little handle. Um, I feel that it's a little bit too awkward to be used as under slung handle is more so for you to be able to put stuff on so this handle you can use it to mount maybe a monitor in juin's advertisement they put a light but i would not again put a direct light on anything so it's probably a good thing to put like a monitor or maybe like a microphone here or something like that or maybe a 360 camera if you want to do some behind the scenes work but other than that um, i would not necessarily use this for like any under slung filming handle uh, maybe a handle as just to carry around the gimbal, you know, when you're not filming anything, but definitely not something to use for the purpose of filming. Um, but yeah, really quickly in terms of balance, really quickly in terms of balancing, this gimbal was able to balance a, a Sony FX3 with a Sony 50 millimeter F1.2 G Master lens with a Falcam cage from Ulanzi, um, no problem. However, when I put like a small, tiny shotgun mic on, I could not get it to balance. It just does not have enough, I don't know what vertical access, it doesn't have enough vertical access leeway to be able to balance an FX3 with the Sony 50 millimeter F1.2 GM with the small microphone on top. But without the microphone, it is fine. Um, you can balance a Sigma 2470 DG DN. DN stands for D's Nuts Lens with the Sony A7S III, no problem. The motors are strong. In my opinion is comparable to the DJI RS3. The limitation is the space you have within the gimbal itself, the gimbal balancing area. The DJI RS3 is slightly bigger. It has more space to balance bigger setups and the weight, but I don't think, I think the weight is roughly, the, the, the amount of weight each gimbal can handle is roughly the same. Another issue, another random tidbit I've noticed while using this gimbal for a wedding, Juin advertises this gimbal to work for 12 hours or 10 hours, I don't know, 10 to 12 hours. However, after shooting a wedding for about three hours with this setup, my battery bars went down to two. 
the bars that are shown on here is up to five. It's problematic in my opinion, um, but I spoke to Juin and they said it is a firmware issue and the battery display is not necessarily accurate in terms of how much battery is left. So as of right now, before the firmware update, probably gonna have to just trust that it's going to last. Right now, if you're looking for a lightweight, compact, but strong gimbal with decent amount of space for balancing, that is $500 and under. Your main two choices is DJI RS3 and the Juin Weeble 3S. Sure, there's a DJI RS3 Mini, which again, which is a little bit more consumer based and not necessarily the best for prime time use. Yes, it's really small and light. And if people are using very small and light camera and a really, really light lens, sure. But if you're like me, who are you gonna be using a 50 millimeter GM, 24 to 70, things of the nature, you're gonna to have to go for one of these gimbals. And at this price point of $319, I would certainly buy the Juin Weeble 3S over the DJI RS3. Matter of fact, if I was in the market for a gimbal, I would be willing to spend the extra 100 bucks and get it with this wrist handle. I would get it with this wrist rest because it just makes just shooting low that much more easier. It's very creative again, very innovative, and I commend them for that. It's very easily adjustable by just twisting the knob. Even the handle um, on the side, you could easily just move it around. Very simple, very easy, no problem. So highly recommended. Um, and as you can see, I have two gimbals now. And if you ask me which one I'm gonna be using going forward, I will be using the Juin Weeble 3S going forward from here on out until the Juin Weeble 4 comes out next month. I'm just kidding. I have no idea when that's coming out. I wouldn't be surprised if it's coming out next month, but uh, yeah, highly recommended. If you're interested in buying this gimbal, links will be in the description below. If you found this video interesting, entertaining, or at least informative, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, lighten up. Hey man, what that microphone? It's a Cinco D1 shotgun mic. Oh my God, that crap. Why is that? It make in China. Bro, all because it's made in China doesn't mean it's bad. If you want to be the bad, if you want to be professional, you need to buy make in USA. Bro, everything is made in China. Let me show you. DJI. DJI is the definition of China. Su Ray. Come on, Su Ray sounds like a Chinese menu item. That is China. Inta 360. That is a full 360 degrees of China. Apple make in USA. Bro. Both the phones and probably the ones that you eat is from China. Oh my god. What about this? That trat it make in China. You are 100% correct. Hello, my congrats.